As I got more comfortable with my M1 Mac, my MacBook Air, I decided it was time to do some real world benchmarking. My video editing software, Camtasia Studio, allows me to install on two different machines and there is a Mac version. However, the Mac version is not M1 native yet, but I ran a benchmark anyway, and you're really gonna be surprised at the results. Come on and check it out. Let me spend just a couple minutes here showing you the players in this contest of producing videos with Camtasia Studio, both on the M1 Apple Mac, the MacBook Air I have, it is the straight M1 CPU, as you can see, and the M1 Mac has eight cores, four performance cores, and four efficiency cores. I did spring for the 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I am running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.2.3. Now, on the Intel side running Windows 10, I'm running a HP Pavilion X360. It has an Intel 5 i5 8250U CPU and also has 16 gigabytes of RAM. And just for those keeping score at home, I am running Windows 10 version 2004. And there's the ex exact build if you really want to know that. Also, here are the versions of Camtasia Studio I am running for comparison on these two machines. And uh, just one more word the version of Camtasia Studio for the Mac is not running native. The M1 CPUs, also known as uh, Apple Silicon, use the ARM instruction set. And that is not compatible with the previous Intel AMD x86 instruction set. So what Apple does to run an Intel x86 application on the M1 is they cross compile it into an Apple Silicon binary and then run it. And that product is called Rosetta 2 and it does a pretty amazing job. And let's get into the time lapse comparison. So on the Mac I took my project I did a couple weeks ago on the PC, Kilowatt EZ, and I brought it over to the Mac Camtasia Studio. I'm just running it at HD resolution and left the profile, all the settings, at the default settings. And then I told it to export it to an MP4. Now, when I go to do this, it's going to give me a warning because I've already run this before and I need to overwrite the existing file and off it goes. On the PC side, I'm going to export to local file and create an HD video as well. And typically, when I do this, I do not have it put in a subfolder. And when I hit finish here, it's going to complain that the file exists and I'll need to overwrite the existing file to start the render and off we go.
Well, there are the results. I wouldn't have believed it had I not gone through the effort of doing a face-to-face -face comparison between the two of these. Camtasia Studio on the M1 MacBook Air renders a heck of a lot faster. 3 minutes and 45 seconds versus 21 minutes and 39 seconds for the exact same project on Camtasia Studio. Our, the M1 Mac is 577% faster. Another way of looking at that is the M1 Mac only took 17% of the time of the Intel i5 CPU on Windows. And what really makes this amazing is the fact that Camtasia Studio is still running under Rosetta 2. It's being cross-compiled to the ARM command set. It is not yet a native app. When we get a native version of Camtasia Studio, I will repeat this benchmarking. So until then, please take care. And don't forget to do that thing at the end that YouTube creators ask you to do because that might be beneficial to them, but, you know, I don't want to say that because everybody says that in their videos. Take care.